Hello, this is a video about the Genesis grid loop and the grid loop is a just a, a pretty way to display your blog posts in a WordPress theme that runs on the Genesis framework. So just show you what it looks like, <coughs> pardon me. <coughs> when, you, when you're using a theme that's, that's got the grid loop enabled, you've got a post at the top, full blog post, and underneath you've got these nicely laid out um, blog posts in a little grid effect. So how do we do it? First of all what I'll do I'll just show you how it works, how the ch how the change, how you can set things um, and explain a bit about it. But I just want to make sure you know first don't edit PHP unless you can use FTP and you've backed up your site and you know how to restore it if you need to. That's really important. Um, so let's have a look. There, there are quite a few settings you can change. What we can do, we can edit the amount of text that's in this first blog post here. So how do we do it? We go to Dashboard, Appearance, Editor, and then we want to find, and I'm using the balance theme. Now each theme will be slightly different, but in the balance theme, which is a studio press theme, it runs on the Genesis framework. Um, the grid loop is in home.php. Several others of the studio press themes have got a home.php uh, file, and that's where the grid loop is on this one and on several others. So if you have a look, what you've got is th this is the code for the grid loop, and it's inside home.php. We've got some settings. If we change this, says features here. And that's the number of featured posts. So it's set to one. If we set it to three, there'll be three featured posts. That's the big posts at the top. So there's one, oh, one we've got one, one big post, and then the grid. But if we change, we've changed the setting to three. So now if we have a look, two big posts, three big posts, and then the grid. What's next? We'll change that back to one just so we don't have too much cluttering up our screen. Featured image size. Now we can set in WordPress what you can do when you're making a post, you can set a featured image down here. This this is the featured image area here, and you can set a featured image there. And this setting, featured image size is dealing with the image that we set down here. Not an image in the blog post, but an image that's a featured image. So that's this uh, second setting, featured image size, and that's got zero or one. You can say zero, the Boolean setting. So zero is false and one is true. So if you want to see the featured image, set that to one. So we'll just set it to one so you can see what actually happens. So the featured image will appear above the blog post now. See that's the featured image there and it appears above the blog post and the, the, the way we set it was down here. Right, what else can we change? The feature content limit. We All, all of these we're dealing with the, the big featured post at the top. So if we set the featured content limit that's set to zero, and zero means it will show the full blog post. If we set it to, because it's not limited, so it's content limit and it's not limiting it, it's showing the full blog post with zero. But if we type a, a number in, so just 350 characters, then we see what's happened. So now we've got the full blog post there. We refresh that, and now we've gotten not the full blog post, we've just got 350 characters and we can see the featured image because we switched that on. Featured image size we set to 1 which means true. If we switch it off again, switch it to 0, which 0 is false so it won't show. So now if we look at the featured image at the top here, the featured image will go. There we go, so it's gone. What else can we change? Now there's two sets of um, settings. There's the featured post there, and then there's the grid posts below. 
So we've done the featured posts, now we're going to move on to the grid settings. So, the size of the grid image, these images here, that is set not with a, a size, but with the name of the image. So now it's set to grid, the, 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 the size of the image is called grid, and the way we find out what that one is in this theme, we're using the balance theme, is to go to functions PHP, have a look for where it says add new image sizes, and see which sizes are available. This one's just got two sizes available, grid and portfolio. Portfolio is a bigger square image, so if we add that one, let's see where did we get to, we want to go back to home PHP, and where it says grid image size, don't put a number, put the name of the, of the um, grid image size, which was portfolio, which makes a bigger square image, so we'll have a bigger square image there. There we go, because we've changed the size by changing the name of the image. Change it back to uh, grid. I don't get confused. <laughs> Just refresh it. There we go. Um, grid content limit. If we want to, we can set how many characters appears in here by setting the grid content limit, which is that setting there. Continue reading text. We can change that text there and that text appears here. So if we want to edit that text to make it to type something else in there, we go to our uh, Appearance Editor, Home PHP, and then where it says More, just type different text there where it says Continue Reading, just type whatever you want in there. Underneath it says Posts Per Page, and that's how many posts will appear on each uh, blog listing page. There we've got five there. We've got one large one at the top there, and then we've got four in the grid loop. One, two, three, four. Now, when you set that, you need to do it two places. Do it in the grid loop here, in the code, and in settings, reading, and there it says blog pages to show at most five. Set them both. This will actually override this settings here. Settings, reading, will override the, um, the, the settings in the code. But it's, it's good to set them both, and then you, you know you're safe. Right, let's see if there's anything else we need to set. Back to home PHP. That's about it. So now I'll just I've made some slides to try and so you don't forget what we're doing because it gets a bit complicated. Right, we're going to set. We're going to edit the Genesis grid loop basic settings and we edited functions PHP and home PHP and we find them by going to appearance editor and choosing the file on the right hand side and these are the different settings features that's the number of big featured posts so choose the number there featured image size zero means don't show a featured image one says do show the featured image and the featured content limit, type a number in there if you want to restrict how much text will appear here. The grid image size, there are different um, sizes. There's In this theme, which is balanced, it's got grid and portfolio, so just type that in there. And we found that in functions PHP. Um, let's just remind ourselves of how we found that. Let's have a look, functions PHP. And we looked in add new image sizes and the sizes are named here grid and portfolio so that's how we found those and if you want to change the more text where it says more in the um, grid loop text in the grid loop code just type your own text in here to change that there then post per page make sure you set it in the grid loop in the code and in wordpress settings which is um settings reading and then blog post to show per uh, posts per page to show right if you set a content limit a number of characters to set it, your featured image won't show unless you change it from zero to one where it says featured image size change it to one if you want the featured image to show 
and you can add new image sizes in the um, functions PHP by going to add new image sizes and just add a new one here I just copied and pasted one of them and just edited edited the sizes to suit me right this one what I did I wanted to add a small thumbnail there so I had to add a new image size in functions PHP add new image sizes and I added a new one here and then in home.php I had to change the grid image size I, I'm, I'm, I call this one LH grid for left hand grid um, so I had to make a new image size and then change the settings in home.php here then use the regenerate thumbnails plugin the, the regenerate thumbnails plugin will make new it will crop the images for you again because if WordPress didn't know you had these image sizes when you uploaded the images it won't have made thumbnails to suit so use regenerate thumbnails plugin to rebuild your thumbnails so that you can actually add the right size right so and if you want to customize your um, this read, read more text here that's actually set in functions PHP that's different to the settings for this one here now it's the same text but the set in different place different places so if you want for the big posts at the top you want to change the continue reading text you've got to do that in functions PHP and in functions PHP look for customize read more text and these are some things you might um, get confused by like gotchas so if you have a more tag that will override any other settings you make more, more tags just um, the way you can set in WordPress when you're making a blog post so if you you've decide you're going to put a more tag there and that's the more tag if you're using one of those it will override any other settings you've made number of posts to show do it in your uh, WordPress settings and in the grid loop settings right. and if you get repeated images uh, set your featured image size to zero right and then don't forget to use regenerate thumbnails if you make any new thumbnail sizes well that was a bit of a long video but I do hope you found it useful and do be careful only do it only do this when you've learned how to use FTP and um, you know that you can back up and replace any files or folders you might break thanks for watching and bye for now